Okay, so hello everyone. This video will be the first among a series of videos with regard to the rear brake drum. Now, initially I intended to make a video on how to adjust your brake as well as your handbrake. But I feel it's more prudent to explain to you how this thing works, okay? You cannot fix anything if you do not know how it is supposed to function. If you understand how it works, taking it apart and putting it back together should be easy, okay? So in this video, allow me to explain to you how the rear brake drum works, how the automatic adjuster works, how to assess when or if you need to replace your brake shoes, and how to dismantle and assemble your rear brake. Now this is more or less applicable in all types of vehicle, okay, with a rear brake drum. They might look slightly different, but they all have the same basic working principle. As you can see, this is the rear brake drum of a Toyota Innova, and this is the rear brake drum of my Pajero first gen. See, very similar. So, if we pull the brake drum off, we will see a pair of brake shoes. And this pair of brake shoes are constantly being pulled together by this return spring. Okay, they are constantly being to pulled together. So, you have one return spring here as well as another smaller return spring below. Also, you have retainer springs on each shoe. Okay, these retainer springs will make sure that the shoe is constantly flush up against the backing plate. So whenever you're going to step on the brake, there are two pistons inside here. They are going to push out something like this. It will push outwards. In so doing, they will push these two brake shoes outwards too. And up against this brake drum, thus stopping your vehicle. So as soon as you release the brake, these return springs are going to pull the shoes inwards again. And these were the adjuster comes in limiting the pull of the shoes inwards okay serving as a stopping or resting point and this adjuster allows us to adjust the amount of play these brake shoes will have inside the brake drum that is why in most cases you will also find a port behind the backing plate you see that port there that window this allows us to make our adjustment from behind the backing plate on this Toyota Innova is the same okay just pull this rubber cover off and you'll have access to that window okay I'll show you that in a different video now as for the handbrake as soon as you pull on the handbrake it will pull on this cable okay this cable will pull on this handbrake lever it will pull on that in so doing it will push on this adjuster pushing the other shoe because these two brake shoes are trapped inside the brake drum they will push each other out so if your foot brake is pushing on this piston your hand brake is pulling on this cable activating this lever pushing on this adjuster so same principle but only this is hydraulic and this is cable operated Now as this brake pad or this brake lining wears down, the distance between this pad and the brake drum will increase. And this is where the automatic adjuster comes in. Every time you pull on the handbrake, this will actuate this lever adjusting the adjuster. Okay, I will show you. So you see, that is how the automatic adjuster works. But this only works up to a certain limit, okay? This is only mostly intended to keep your brake shoes from becoming too loose. Now, be advised, okay? Never, I repeat, never step on the foot brake while you have the brake drum off. Otherwise, if you do, these pistons, the pistons inside here are gonna be pushed out of the cylinders and you will end up with a mess of brake fluid. As soon as you take the brake drum off, take a closer look at the brake shoes. You don't want to see mainly two things, okay? First is the thickness of the pad or the brake lining, okay? If the thickness of your lining is only 2 millimeters or less, replace the brake shoes. A good reference point is this, okay? You see that? That is more or less 2 mm. 
So if your brake lining is already worn down to the point that you can no longer see this bevel down to that 2mm, replace your brake shoes. Another thing that you don't want to see is you don't want to see the brake lining or the brake pad flaking off or peeling off. Okay, so check if it's peeling off or coming loose. Okay, so that's very important. It doesn't matter if it's still new or it still has a thick brake pad or brake lining on it. As soon as you see the brake lining peeling off or flaking off, okay, you would want to replace your brake shoes, okay, because that is a disaster waiting to happen. If this brake pad or this brake lining will come off inside this brake drum, that is going to jam the entire brake mechanism and bring your vehicle into an abrupt stop. Imagine driving at a speed of 60 kph or even higher and this comes off, jamming the entire mechanism inside and everything will seize up. One tire not rolling, you end up skidding to one side of the road and I've seen that happen before, okay? So very important. So again, two things thickness which should be not less than 2 mm okay this is your reference point and you should not see the lining peeling or flaking off two tips okay first is dismantle and assemble one brake drum at a time that way should you find it difficult to assemble everything back together you have the other one as reference another thing is you don't mix up the parts because some parts like the brake shoes, the lever mechanism for the handbrake, the return springs are not interchangeable, okay? Even the wheel cylinder, they are not interchangeable. What is intended to go to the left drum should go to the left drum and what is intended to go to the right drum should go to the right drum. And the number two tip is you can also take pictures before you disassemble. So the first thing that you would want to remove is the return spring and this perhaps the only difficult part of this disassembly because you need to pull the spring out of that hole. So in order to make it easier for us to pull this spring out, first let's adjust the adjuster. Push on this automatic adjuster, okay, and then rotate the adjuster. And that will bring the shoes inwards reducing the tension on the return spring see okay now use a vice grip make sure it has a firm grip on the return spring and pull the spring out see and there it is very easy okay now we will remove the retainer spring use a vice grip again Make sure just apply enough force just to grip the washer down. Hold the pin behind the backing plate. Push and then twist. Okay, one more. Push and then twist. And that's that, okay? Let's pull the retainer spring from behind. Okay, so I, I will show you as you push down on the spring twist and that allows you to pull it out very easy now we can take this shoe out as well as this return spring see now re remove the retainer spring on this shoe same procedure push and then twist and that's out and we can pull this brake shoe out as well pull it down so next thing for us to remove is this handbrake cable, pull on this spring and that allows us to remove the handbrake cable. And now we can remove the retainer spring, very easy as well as the adjuster. And that's just that, very easy. Now because I'm going to replace the wheel cylinder, I'm going to do that too, but like I've shown in this video, you don't actually have to dismantle everything. You can do all that just by directly removing the cylinder, okay? So I'll spray the WD-40 and give it five minutes to soak. Now I'll remove the brake line. Okay, and then I will just use a piece of tissue to plug this brake line and 
and that will keep that from leaking and now we can remove the two 12 mm bolts that holds the cylinder okay one bolt down the other side mm -hmm. so there we go as you can see it's leaking so these are new brake wheel cylinder okay remember this is not interchangeable this is one for the right one with the breather screw and this one is for the left this is for brake lines both okay this is only for one brake line and this is where you bleed the air out so now you can clearly see the window adjustment okay now let's put this back remove this just like that put the two bolts back and the other one and tighten that down now let's put the brake line back in remove the tissue okay and just like that and tighten the brake line down okay so now we have our new brake wheel cylinder installed very easy now assuming you're going to replace your brake shoes when you buy new ones okay this lever mechanism does not come with the new brake shoes so like i've said when in doubt take pictures first before you disassemble but like i've said it's very easy just take note of the orientation of the spring pull it out and that's that pull this clip out with a flathead screwdriver and that enables you to pull the adjuster out now as for this one you can use a flathead screwdriver and twist that open okay and now we can pull that out with a flathead screw driver very easy and the lever mechanism comes off I'm gonna clean these parts with diesel so now it's time for us to reassemble see it even in the case there are meaning right then the clip push that in lock that down one more okay so check for freedom of movement and there is now this adjuster like that just put the e-clip back and just like that now don't worry if you see play okay that's designed that way so that you can push on this one down okay so that's normal so now let's put the spring back and like that and pull it towards that very easy now as for this adjuster it's a good idea to put grease this will prevent corrosion and so that the adjuster won't get stuck okay just apply grease reverse thread now this adjuster should sit here okay watch that like that and now we will put the return spring over the adjuster okay just take note of the orientation of the spring one is slightly longer than the other so the slightly longer is gonna go on this side okay just like that just take note should we install this okay take note of that spur gear that will have a access on the window on the back in place see there should be space here if you're going to install that backwards i'll show you you see that leaves us little space to work with the adjuster so it should be installed like so and just like that space so before we assemble back everything is a good idea to apply grease on that point this will prevent your brake from producing a squeaking sound okay so see those points here as well and here and also there 
now before you put the brake shoes back you must be aware that this side okay this side should go there and this should go there okay same on the other side so now we can begin reassembly so just repeat the process backwards pull this spring and just like that very easy okay so make sure the adjuster is aligned and now we can put the shoe back on so there's something that I want to show you okay make sure the handbrake is resting on that resting plate okay see so now let's put the retaining spring back pin first this one spring and then same method when you remove it push and then twist twist again make sure that it's there see the return spring underneath put that there make sure that the return spring is behind this okay not over this behind we can put the other pair just like that and align this up with the adjuster just like that hold that in place and put the retainer spring on this brake shoe just like that spring push and twist so the last thing for us to install is the retainer spring make sure everything is aligned also down here now take note there are two holes okay now you might believe you might be led to believe that you should install that there similar on the other shoe but if you do that you see there is no hold on you see there is no tension on the spring and it defeats the purpose because like i said this is a return spring its job is to pull these shoes inwards so we need to pull this spring all the way to that other hole and that's that make sure that that's there and that's it okay so now before we put the brake drum on it's a good idea also to brush some grease on the wheel hub as well as on the bolts this again to prevent corrosion and to prevent the drum from sticking on the wheel hub we are done on this side and on the other side is the same procedure okay so now we can put the brake drum on and that's it so i will end this video here because i don't want to make this video too long maybe the next videos that i will make is how to bleed the air out of your brake lines how to adjust your brake, rear brake and how to adjust your handbrake so stay tuned i hope this video can help you out let me know in the comments below what you think about this video like share subscribe if you want to only if you want to and as always thank you for watching